वसुदेवायाम नमो भगवते वसुदेवायाम नैमिषे अनिमिषा क्षेत्रे रसया सोनकादा शत्र सुरगा लोकया सहस्रसमसता Once in a holy place in the forest of Nemisharanya, great sages headed by the sage Saunaka assembled to perform a great thousand-year sacrifice for the satisfaction of the Lord and His devotees. The prelude of the Shrimad Bhagavatam was spoken in the previous three slokas. Now the main topic of this great literature is being presented. Shrimad Bhagavatam after its first recitation by Srila Sukadeva Goswami was repeated for the second time at Nameshwaranya in the Vaya Via Tantra it is said that Brahma the engineer of this particular universe contemplated a great wheel which could enclose the universe the hub of this great circle was fixed at a particular place known as Nameshwaranya Similarly there is another reference to the forest of Nameshwaranya in the Varaha Purana where it is stated that by performance of sacrifice at this place the strength of demonic people is curtailed thus brahmanas prefer Nameshwaranya for such sacrificial performances the devotees of Lord Vishnu offer all kinds of sacrifices for his pleasure the devotees are always attached to the service of the Lord where his fallen souls are attached to the pleasures of material existence in bhagavad gita it is said that anything performed in the material world for any reason other than for the pleasure of lord vishnu causes further bondage for the performer it is enjoined therefore that all acts must be performed sacrificially for the satisfaction of vishnu and his devotees this will bring everyone peace and prosperity The great sages are always anxious to do good to the people in general and as such the sages headed by Saunaka and others assemble at this holy place of Nameshwaranya with the program of performing a great and continuous chain of sacrificial ceremonies forgetfulness um, forgetfulness man forgetful man do not know the right path for peace and prosperity however the sages know it well and therefore for the good of all men they are always anxious to perform acts which may bring about peace in the world they are sincere friends to all living entities and at the risk of great personal inconvenience they are always engaged in the service of the lord for the good of all people lord vishnu is just like a great tree and all others including the demigods men siddhas charanas vidyadharas and other living entities are like branches twigs and leaves of the tree by pouring water on the root of the tree all the parts of the tree are automatically nourished only those branches and leaves which are detached cannot be so satisfied detached branches and leaves dry up gradually despite all watering attempts similarly human society when it is detached from the personality of godhead like detached branches and leaves it is not capable of being uh, watered and on one attempting to do so is simply wasting his energy and resources the modern materialistic society is detached from its relation to the supreme lord and all its plans which are being made by atheistic leaders are sure to be baffled at every step yet they do not wake up to this in this age the congregational chanting of the holy names of the lord is the prescribed method for waking up the ways and means are most scientifically presented by lord shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and intelligent persons may take advantage of his teachings in order to bring about real peace and prosperity shrimad bhagavatam is also presented for the same purpose and this will be explained more ex- specifically later in the next ता एकदा तु मुनया प्रातर्हुता हुताग्नया सत्कृतां सूतम आसीनम प्रवचूर इदम आदरत वन डे आफ्टर फिनिशिंग देयर मॉर्निंग ड्यूटीज बाय बर्निंग अ सेक्रिफिशियल फायर एंड ऑफरिंग अ सीट ऑफ एस्टीम टू शिला सूत गोस्वामी द ग्रेट सेजेस मेड इंक्वायरीज विद ग्रेट रिस्पेक्ट 
about the following matters. Morning is the best time to hold spiritual services. The great sages offered the speaker of the Bhagavatam an elevated seat of respect called the Vyasasana or the seat of Srila Vyasado. Srila Vyasado is the original spiritual preceptor for all men and all other preceptors are considered to be his representatives. A representative is one who can exactly present the viewpoint of Srila Vyasado. Srila Vyasado impregnated the message of Bhagavatam unto Srila Sukadeva Goswami and Srila Sukadeva Goswami heard it from him. Srila Sukadeva Goswami also bona fide representative. Srila Sukadeva Goswami, all bona fide representatives of Sri Vyasado in the chain of disciplic succession are to be understood to be Goswamis. These Goswamis restrain all their senses and they stick to the path made by the previous Acharyas. The Goswamis do not deliver lectures on the Bhagavatam capriciously. Rather, they execute their services most carefully following the predecessors who deliver the spiritual message unbroken to them. Those who listen to the Bhagavatam may put questions to the speaker in order to elicit the clear meaning but this should not be done in a challenging spirit. One must submit questions with a great regard for the speaker and the subject matter. This is also the way recommended in Bhagavad Gita. One must learn the transcendental subject by submissive oral reception from the right sources. Therefore, the sages addressed the speaker Sutta Goswami with great respect.